Hello, Dahi here from Timestep Softworks. Welcome to the 41st development video for Vigilantes. This video is an interim update for Vigilantes version 21, which will be available in roughly two weeks, and it's about halfway complete now. At uh, first, I'd like to say thanks to everyone who picked up a copy of Vigilantes in early access, gave feedback, left reviews, and reported bugs. In various ways, all of these things will help us to make a better game. And what you're looking at here is the it's the new map for version 21. It's the first subway map which has been added to the game, and it's there'll likely be either two or three of these maps. I wouldn't say the lighting is 100% finished yet, but just to give you a quick look um, at the map, and to move on to let's see. Uh, moving on to gang intel, um, the a portrait has been added now for each one of the 15 gang leaders. Previously it was just using a default, so it will show up once you um, understand or you know that their, what their physical description is. Additionally, instead of requiring three pieces of intel, gang leaders and rackets now require two. The problem with intel was that, that the rate at which you gained it was just much, much too slow. Now this doesn't completely fix the problem, but it does reduce the amount of intel that you need by 33%. Uh, further to this, and something that's very likely to happen in this update, is that the lesser gang, under, or the, the lowest of the gang lieutenants, in this case the lowest mafia underboss, and the same for the survivalists and the church of the final exodus, the, these characters will actually start to hunt you um, if your behavior starts to become too predictable, like as it is, and if you start attacking the same tile too often, they'll, they'll lay in wait for you in an ambush, and if that happens you're probably just going to have to run away because at the, early, at the earlier parts of the game you're not going to be able to fight with them. Uh, so that this will also give the the kind of pro the balance problem with uh, intel. It'll give it a, 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 another little nudge towards the center as you gain more intel on these wandering bosses, as as you could call them, as you encounter them in the map. Uh, the same is true for rackets. Rackets previously required three; they now require two pieces of intel. And tactical repositioning has also received something of a reworking. Previously it took 30 bypass skill per tile to reposition. Now that's been reduced. It's been reduced to 20 for the first tile and 10 for each subsequent tile. So if you had, let's say, 40 bypass skill previously, you'd be only able to move one tile, whereas now you'll be able to move three. Building from this, since tactical repositioning is now it pro provides a greater reward, and this was a suggestion uh, which we received through Steam, um, if you fail the tactical repositioning, your, your team will, will suffer a minus one initiative penalty uh, for the entirety of the battle. So it'll push them further down the initiative queue. Also, tactical repositioning, the difficulty is now variable. It depends on the gang. So if you're up against kind of highly trained survivalists, they're going to be harder to reposition against. If you're up against churchers, they're going to be easier to reposition against. If you're up against higher level characters, it'll be harder. If you're up against upgraded troop types, it's going to be harder. So it'll, it'll be dynamic now, depending on who you're up against. In terms of balance, is that the General Arms Peacemaker, which is the Tier 2 SMG, and this is, once again, it's another suggestion uh, which we've received through Steam. The... SM, this second tier SMG can now fire a single, more accurate 3 AP shot, so it's the lowest cost for firing a firearm. Uh, it doesn't do as much damage, or it's not as accurate as a pistol, but it provides a little tactical flexibility with an SMG weapon, which I guess when you think about it is, is kind of about mobility and high firepower at close range. Uh, whereas I guess before, to, I suppose to build on that, if you spent all, if you fired a burst, the chances are you weren't going to be moving so far. So this will open up the possibility of firing and moving, or you know, firing a burst and, and not moving very much. In terms of tweaks, um, an option has been added to disable the foam grain, and that's in performance foam grain. So you can switch that off now. Uh, you can also switch between. Uh, windowed and full screen. Uh, now I will provide a. Uh, I'll post on the. I'll post on the Steam forums a little more information on the best way to do this. Uh, your best, probably best, so with Unity Launcher, I think. Uh, but the problem was that previously 
the game was actually reverting you to full screen that won't happen anymore so you can keep it in windowed camera move speed has also been increased or well you can choose you can increase it between one and two hundred percent and individual tutorials and let's see so you can disable each tutorial now individually so they won't keep popping up that's kind of a, sort of an annoying annoying thing so that's that's taken care of as well uh, outside that it's more or less been bug fixes there's been about i'd say about four to five kind of minor to moderate uh, severity bugs which have been fixed including things like problems with you know ammo uh, problems with input occasionally being disabled forcing you to click on your current weapon and change it to re-enable it uh, so a fixed number of those issues and other than that there's probably been, about, been around maybe seven eight um, minor bugs uh, which have also been fixed and I guess this is quite normal that you know with many more people playing the game now that there's more bug reports coming in and this this helps us you know improve the stability of the game so you know we're devoting a considerable amount of time to fixing bugs so each, each version should as it comes out should should improve in terms of stability and I think that's pretty much it for this update. Um, as I said, the the release of version 21 should be in around two weeks, and I'll follow that up with another development video just to give you the rest of the work which has been carried out in the update. Uh, so thanks very much for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.